I just feel a bit confused because I feel like um, my relationship with Justin is different now. I feel like... It is, but you haven't been very happy about it. No, I know. That's... Yeah. yeah. So let's get honest about it. You remember yep. yesterday or the day before yesterday when I gave Justin some feedback and you put up your hand and you said, I've been pretty unhappy since the time I was, you know, 10 or so that I can remember. Yep. And I'm telling you the reason why is because you didn't have a dad around to make you feel these things. Yep. Yeah, and at the moment in your relationship with Justin, he's coming from abusing women perspective, but you are coming from an abusing men perspective. Yep. This is why it's so much of a struggle, because the two of you are coming from complete opposite ends. So you're in agreement with these things internally, and Justin's in complete disagreement with it yep. internally, and this is going to cause like, uh, Yeah, you know? that's how it's been. But uh, yeah. like what I was going to say was, um, yep. so... Now it feels like I like I feel like Justin's changed this year towards me, but I feel like he's meeting more of my addictions now. Like correct, yeah, correct. So it like which which is not is not going to help, is it? Because no, when he does that, he's going I, to be meeting more of these. Yeah, because I have been very resistive and not wanting to deal with stuff. Correct. And like he said that he had a conversation with you guys the other morning and. That he said that I just get angry all the time whenever he says anything to me. So, yeah, now I'm feeling like I really do need to actually have that tantrum stage that Mary was talking about. Um, so, yeah. Did Mary say that you have to have a tantrum stage? Can, can we pass the mic back to Mary and find out what she actually said? Can we do that? Well, I was talking about... Um, letting yourself feel through the addiction and let go of the false beliefs. So there's some pain that you'll have to feel in recognising that you can't have your demands met, that they're not in harmony with love. What does a person in rage generally do, except, doesn't do that, they generally do something else, what do they generally do? Do you know, Ivana? Do you know, Ivana? Does anyone know? What, what do you generally do? Like, let, let's look at this tantrum thing, right? For most of us, the tantrum is all about what? Sis. Not getting, not getting what I want. Not getting what you want met. Okay. So, so when you start feeling the tantrum, what do most people do at that point? Do they actually feel the tantrum fully or what do they do instead? All right. If we go to Sue, thanks. I get angry. Sorry, you get... I, I get angry. With whom? Um, with the other person. Correct. So you're, you're not actually feeling the tantrum at that point. Yeah. A child feeling a tantrum does what? Go, you, say, you say, Catherine, what does, you, what does the child do? Jump up and down and cry and, and yeah. but uh, is it, carry on. Yeah, they yeah. carry on, but is it projected at a person? It's not, is it? It's no. Just, it's just no. like, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> like, and if any person around them almost goes, wow, that's pretty full on, <laughs> right? <laughs> but, but none of the persons around the child having a tantrum actually feel like they are being personally attacked, generally. Right? It's only when the child starts denying those emotions and the child starts hitting their parents... Now we're not talking about a tantrum anymore. Now we're talking about attack and abuse. That's different to a tantrum. So we need to be careful with our description of a tantrum. Right? A tantrum is, which is what we're all going to have to go through when we have all these unloving expectations. The tantrum is felt by the individual without, being, without harming any other person in their environment. That's what a tantrum is, how a tantrum is felt. A, an attack is always perpetrated from one person to another. The way that most of you ladies have been acting in your, in your emotions is you are still perpetra perpetrating attacks upon others. So in other words, you're not even having a tantrum. You are abusing other people. Your soul continues to degrade every time you do it. And many of you have been using the terminology of divine truth to justify your attack of other people. What, what do you think God feels about that? God teaches a whole heap of truth 
and instead of you using it wisely and with sincerity, you use it as a justification for more unloving behaviour. What do you feel God feels about that? God's going, whoa. You tell them the truth and all they do is manipulate that to suit their own unhealed demands. That's pretty intense, isn't it? 